guys, in this video today I'm going to show you how to solve a quadratic equation using something called the quadratic formula. So if you haven't seen this already, here's the quadratic formula. To find the solution of x, you have to do minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. So if you're lucky, your exam board might give you that in your exam, but sometimes you might have to memorize it, okay? They don't always give it to you, so always check to find out that first, okay? So A, B and C, well, if the equation is organized like this, so it equals zero, A is just the number that's in front of the x squared, B is the number in front of the x, and C is just the number by itself, so that isn't attached to an x. So if we look at this example here, it doesn't say equal zero like it should. So we need to start by moving that seven over to the other side. Okay, so remember when something moves across the equal sign, it changes sign. So this positive seven will now become negative. So I'm just going to write out that new equation down there. Okay, so now let's identify our values A, B and C. So remember, A is the number in front of the x squared. Well, here there's like an invisible 1. So A is 1. B is the number in front of the x, so positive 4. Don't forget to look at the sign. And C is the number by itself, which is this one, so negative 7. So now that I've, I, I've identified A, B and C, it's just substitution. You're just substituting these values into this formula. So in the calculator, you would put minus B, so minus 4, plus or minus the square root of B squared, so that would be 4 squared. And I'm going to put that in brackets, and I'll tell you why later. And then minus 4 times A times C. So I'm literally just swapping in all those values, A, B, and C, okay? So I'm putting these into this formula. Now, I would always put brackets around these numbers because some people don't put brackets. And if this was a negative value, if you did negative 4 squared like this without brackets, it gives you minus 16. But if you do it with brackets, it gives you positive 16. So it's always a good idea to put your numbers into brackets, like I've done here. It's just a good habit to get into. So put that in your calculator. So press your fraction button, then type it all in. Once you do with plus, okay, you press equals, you can keep it on your screen. Then you can go back, delete the plus, and change it to a minus. Because remember, when you're solving a quadratic equation, there are two solutions. All right, so let's see what we get. And if you've got a calculator, you can do it at the same time just to make sure you've got the same answer. So I'm doing it with plus to start with. And my first answer, when it's plus, if I round to three significant figures, is 1.32. Now, just like I said, leave that answer on your screen and just backtrack, delete that plus symbol and change it to a minus. And then my other value, if I round to three significant figures, is minus 5.32. Hopefully you got the same if you did that on your calculator just now as well. I'm going to do a hard one just to finish. Okay, so my first step in this one is to get rid of this fraction because I don't want x in the denominator of a fraction. So I'm going to multiply everything in this equation by x. So if I multiply this by x, I get 4x squared. If I times this by x, well, it just cancels and I'm left with 7. And if I times this by x, I get 29x. Now, remember, we can only start using this formula if our quadratic is equal to 0. So the next step is to move that positive 29x over to the left-hand side of the equals so that we've got 0 left over. So remember, whenever it moves across the equal sign, it changes sign, so it becomes negative. Everything else stays the same, so this is still positive 7. And now I've got equals 0. So next, just like before, we can identify our values of a, b, and c. a is just the coefficient of x squared, so here it would be positive 4. b is the number in front of the x, so here negative 29, don't forget that sign. 
and C is the number by itself, so positive 7. And just like before, you're just doing substitution. You're just putting these values into the formula. So minus B, well, we have to write minus, and then be careful here, because B happens to be minus. Lots of people get sloppy and they forget to write one of these minuses down. So you always write minus, and then this B value happens to be minus as well. Then we've got our plus minus and the square root symbol. B squared, remember to put B in brackets, just like I explained earlier. So negative 29 squared minus 4 times A times C. So minus 4 times A times C. So you can write times if you prefer, but brackets, remember brackets mean multiply. Okay, so you can just stick with brackets if you like that. And then underneath, 2 times A, so that's 2 times 4, because A is 4. So, just like before, put this into your calculator, do it once with plus, leave it on your screen, then backtrack, delete the plus and change that plus to a minus. So if you've got your calculator handy, you might want to do it at the same time, just to check you get the same thing. Now, the first one, I'm doing with plus. And I get, when I put that in your calculator with plus, oh, I get a nice number. I get x is 7. Okay, so remember there's a second value because when we're solving quadratics, we get two solutions. So leave that on your screen, go back, delete that plus, and change it to a minus, just here. And now I get 1 quarter, or 0 0.25. So I've solved the quadratic equation. Okay, so there you go, there's the quadratic formula.